वेलकम डी स्टूडेंट इन द फर्स्ट बायोलॉजी लेक्चर फर्स्ट लेसन लिविंग वर्ल्ड ओके सो यर ऑन द अर्थ ऑन द प्लैनेट अर्थ वी ऑब्जर्व दैट नंबर ऑफ द लिविंग एज वेल एज नॉन लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट सो विच आर द लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स एंड विच आर द नॉन लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स द लिविंग कंपोनेंट्स वॉट वी ऑब्जर्व सराउंडिंग टू अस फ्रॉम द यूनिसेल्युलर टू द मल्टीसेल्युलर फ्रॉम द स्मॉल टू द लार्जर ऑर्गेनिजम सम आर लिविंग in the water some are living on the land some are living on the different branches of the plants okay the abiotic components are there which abiotic components are present so here the light is there temperature is there soil is there water is there which are considered as a abiotic components so the biotic components are obviously the living beings present around to us now the question arises why they are called as a living and how they differ from non living so for that some basic principles are there that we'll see now the living beings once produce or once they born has to survive and for the survival they need the energy how they get the energy this energy they get by the process of the metabolism then what is metabolism metabolism means what is a making breaking of the molecule and making of the new molecules so breaking of the molecule means what that is about the so here we can see the breaking of the molecules that is called as a catabolism and the making of the molecules that is called as a anabolism so here whatever the food we eat so that food it get break down break down into the smaller whatever the molecules that what are the process called as a catabolism and then that what are the molecules are there which is converted into our own molecules so making of the new molecule that is called as a anabolic process so this process continuously goes on and from that the energy which is get released that is useful for us so this is about what about the metabolism this is the first characteristic of the living organism so next is there that is about the growth and the development from the birth onward the organism shows a tendency of the growth and the development this growth is a well organized or we can say it is a well orchestrated process now this if you observe that in this diagram the seed germinate once the seed germinate after the germination it gives a plumule and the radical so plumule grows which gives the shoot system radical which gives the root system so this small the seedlings are get develop and then slowly slowly growth is taking place in that plant okay so here that will become a tree afterward in case of the trees or in case of the shrub in case of the herb according to the size they shows the growth and the development this growth is a well organized just now i said another one is there you might have the ob observed about the sand mounds so sand mounds are there so here on this diagram we can observe the sand mounds are there as well as about the boulders grow how they grow the growth is there which is not from inside it is from the outside deposition of what is the sand particle because of that particular the mounds are get formed as well as these boulders are there formed which because of what deposition of the number of the side side particles well in case of the living organism if you observe that growth is there which is from the inside the growth which is taking place inside in case of the living organism next is that the growth and the development are not the process which have unlimited time span so here what is the process is there which is a continuously taking place till the end it means till the death of that particular organism so here at a certain point of the time the molecule organ systems begins to lose their effective working and then it become a old and then this process that is a aging is there which is taking place in the body in this diagram you can observe that the young one is there slowly slowly the growth and development takes place and at the end the aging is a taking place so life has to continue hence the organism try to produce a young one like itself so here the reproduction is taking place in this water the unicellular organism if you consider the example is amoeba is there so from the single cell gives the two cells so each consider as a new amoeba and slowly the growth is taking place in case of the hydra budding is there in case of the sweet potato also we observe that the growth is taking place from that sweet potato from the root in case of the human being male and the female male produces sperm which female produces the egg fertilization takes place and the young one get produced so the growth and development are not the process which have unlimited time span at a certain point of the time the molecule organ system begins to lose their effective working and then it become a old that process called as a aging process is there 
okay so here this in this diagram we have observed that the aging process is there life has to continue hence the organism tries to try to produce a young one like the itself it is a possible through the reproduction in case of the amoeba in case of the hydra in case of the sweet potato we observe that it is a asexual type of the reproduction while in case of the human being number of the other animals are there in which we observe the reproduction which is a taking place a sexual type of the reproduction this ensures the continuity of the race means perpetuation of the life the process is required whatever the reproduction is there in case of the mules as well as what are the sterile workup honey bees are there so here in this diagram we can observe clearly the horse and the donkey when they breed from that we get the mule so this mule is a combination of the horse and the donkey but the mule is there which is a sterile one here the horse is a fertile one donkey is also fertile one but from that what the organism we get the mule which is called as a sterile one it cannot reproduce well in case of the honey bee also honey bee which are of the three types of the honey bees are there one is a queen second one is a worker and third one is a drone okay so here drones are the male while the queen is a female and the uh, what are the workers are there so this workers they are the sterile one okay so here these are what the worker is a sterile one it cannot reproduce do not give the uh, what are the give the lay uh, either lay the eggs or cannot give the birth to the young one same way in case of the mule also so there do what the mules are there sterile workers bees are there do not reproduce yet are called as a living one can we call the reproduction as inclusive characteristics of the life no because while observing this we cannot say only the reproduction is a what the characteristics of the life now next is there about the, as the body loses its a capacity to perform metabolism the organism dies so here once the what are the metabolic activity stops so what is the energy required for the each and every cell will stop then automatically the organism or the person may get die any living being responds to the thermal chemical or the biological changes if you observe that in this diagram what the living being is there which responds to the thermal chemical or biological changes in the surrounding that is the responsiveness or the irritability is there what is the unique property of the living organism what we observe when we touch any water the hot plate immediately we remove our hand same way here about the touch me not plant once we touch that particular leaf of the plant here immediately it closes it's a leaf immediately it drop down whatever the the petiole is there about that particular leaf so these are what these are what the responsiveness is there or the irritabilities are there about that particular type of the plant called as the touch me not plant okay next is there there is a immense diversity in the living organism on the earth if you look at that various types of the organisms which are present so here in this what are the various organism just in the beginning only i said some are unicellular some are multicellular some are living inside the water some are living on the land and some they are living on the branches of the tree since the time immemorial the variety of the organisms are living together on the earth in order to understand interrelations between the living and the non living as well as between the two living beings or the groups systematic study of this is a essential so this systematic study how we get that is by proper what is the taxonomy or we can say by the classification of that particular organism we can get the clear idea about each and every organism so this data is also important for the various industrial and the agri agriculture so various what are the industries are there various what are the agriculture field are there so here they work on that they collect the data of the particular what is the organism or they understand what type of the the characteristics are there and according to that they produce or they use some of the products example is there for in case of the agriculture the new hybrid varieties they can produce what are the pests are there what are the insects are there which are the spoiling that particular crop plant for that purpose they can produce the new pesticides or the insecticides some what are the fertilizers they can produce so here on this the various what are the industries and the agricultural institutes are there which are working on it the intensive laboratory and the field studies in order to identify and classify the organism form the strong basis for meaningful use of the collected data so this all what are the data is get collected and they work on that if we need to study this diversity 
certain aids called as a taxonomical aids can be used so which are that aids are there herbarias are there botanical gardens are there museums are there biodiversity parks are there so herbaria means what that is a collection of that particular plant and which is a stored for the long period and with the help of that we can do the further study of that particular plant or particular organism botanical gardens so where we can observe the live plants are there with the help of that we can do the comparative studies and with the help of that we can classify and we can understand what type of the variations are there how the diversity have taken place some museums are there some biodiversity parks are there so by using this we can easily understand how the correlation or how the relationship is there between the different type of the organism and how the evolution have taken place okay so this is what about the the first part is there about the lesson so in this because of the pandemic situation only one topic is there about the living world for this year particular for this year that is 1.1 basic principles of the life okay so here the whatever the our topic is over okay we'll in the next video we'll see in the next lesson thank you